Hey faggots, I'm a retard cunt, and today we're talking about why I don't trip anymore on psychedelics. As you can see, I'm kind of rocking an old Respawn t-shirt here. Now, this was back when Machinima was cool in the day. I was a partner. It was really chill. I had like 20,000 sub gaming channel, and then it all went to shit. So, yeah, I don't know where Machinima is right now. I don't even watch their stuff because I know they've been so down the toilet. Anyways, so here is a short little cute video. But before we get to that, uh, just stay tuned till the end for the $5 Amazon gift card giveaway. But, uh, yeah, so psychedelics are a very interesting part of my life you know it's maybe maybe it's a little bit obvious i mean my my name is avi lsd uh and uh, you know i'm a big fan of drugs maybe uh you haven't noticed but half well okay not half actually we're, we're kind of leaning away from it you know a lot of videos recently aren't too drug related and it's like i kind of really my end goal is 50 50 uh half drug related half whatever the fuck else and basically LSD is uh, something that changed my life quite a bit that's why half my name is literally LSD the other half Avi some people ask why the fuck I chose Avi I, la I randomly fucking chose it it was cool I was like okay shit six characters that fucking works for me and basically, here is why I don't trip anymore. Uh, well, okay, so I've discussed psychedelics and my use in the past before. I've had LSD freakouts. Now, LSD is a substance that I still like, which some people in my situation would be like, what the fuck? And psychedelics I'm still interested in and I still like, but I remember reading this one little quote that was just like, once you get the message, you hang up the phone. That's basically what I did. So I haven't touched Moxie, I haven't touched Shrooms, I haven't touched LSD, I haven't touched, I, I've never tried DMT. You know, I haven't touched any of that shit in quite a while or anything with psychedelic properties to it, such as, you know, even, you know, disassociatives like ketamine, it has a little bit of psychedelia into it, or uh, high doses of marijuana or high doses of ecstasy. You know, I, I just don't like the whole psychedelic. I like psychedelics, but I hate psychedelics. I have that wonderful love-hate relationship. And the thing is, I get very paranoid. I have a lot of mental things going on. And, you know, some people will be like, well, you, you just got to go to therapy and meditate and everything's going to be A-OK -okay, and then you can trip again. And those people are fucking retarded because some people literally just, they, they will not experience a good trip ever. No matter how many fucking hours they meditate every single day. Trust me, I, I've been trying a lot of meditation, and I'm feeling much happier, much more grateful, all this bullshit. Like, I'm happy and shit, but I have a feeling that if I took acid right now, I would freak the fuck out, and it's not like, oh my god, oh my god. It's like full-on state of psychosis where I, like, get naked, and I think everyone's trying to kill me, and the FBI's running after me, and, ah, uh, you know, it's it, it's kind of funny, like, after the fact, but during, it's like everything goes into full-on paranoia. Now, will I microdose in the future? Yes. Will I still want to try kind of moving my way up into the psychedelics world? Yeah. I, I'm interested in ayahuasca. I'm interested in DMT. I'm curious. I'm very curious about mescaline. I mean, I'm reading, okay, the book's not here right now, but I'm reading by Aldo Huxley, The Doors of Perception, and, you know, I'm very interested in these matters, but I'd like to research them further before going into them. And my advice for anybody who has suffered bad trips even just once, or gets paranoid on weed, or gets paranoid on any substance mind-altering, you know, that was fucking retarded. Basically, if you get paranoid or if you have any weird side effects and you're like, well, shit, this can fuck me up mentally or physically or both, or, you know, my family or friends or other people are affected by it, stop because you don't need it right now. You can be patient and, you know, there's a whole life ahead of you. So the way I like to think about it is in the future, I might still dabble in it, so don't worry, it's not like I'm going away, but, you know, that's, I haven't tripped in a long time, summer was the once, I, I, yeah, I tripped like once in summer with shrooms, that was the time I tried shrooms, but that's it, before summer and spring, I tried moxie quite a bit, I was microdosing way earlier in spring with acid quite a bit, but, 
It's like, I, I think even if I did start off instead of 400 micrograms, like, oh, even if I did start off with a normal dose, like 80 micrograms low end, I still just, there, there's something there that recently when I started smoking weed, I, I tested it out a little bit because I was like, oh, cool, there's there's weed or whatever. Maybe it was shit weed, but um, like I, I don't smoke often. I don't really do drugs that often at all. Like, I don't. Um I use supplements like protein powder. I don't really use, I don't even drink protein shakes that often. I try and make my own natural protein shakes. So like really I'm trying to stay away from all mind altering substances, like even caffeine because you know, it keeps you alert and all that shit. And I don't want that. Um, at least not for the moment. Well, you know, in the future I want to make educated, uh, and well, prepared experiences, I guess, with substances that deserve their respect, and LSD is one of them. I mean, most psychedelics are, all of them, really. And, I don't know, I just get paranoid, I get these weird side effects, I still have little flashbacks here and there, so it's like, I, I don't have full-on HPPD where I'm seeing shit, but I've heard some stories, I know some people in real life who have been fucked by it, and still, like, see shit, hear shit, they're just different, they never came back down, they... They're just, they're missing something. Something's not fully right, and I don't really want to be like that. So, if you get paranoid, or if you have any of these weird feelings with weed, with whatever it is, just stop and uh, let it chill for a little while. And then, you know, you can always go back to it, and if it doesn't work, well, it's not for you. But hey, that's that's the reason why I stopped tripping is because I get full-on state of psychosis paranoia, which makes for very fun stories to share. But uh, yeah, might do a live trip report in the future when, when I decide I'm ready to uh, start moving up again. But I, I'd start with the microdose. Anyways, my name is Mike. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also, uh, I am going to like California next week for like a week. So if you want to meet in California, I'll be like near the San Diego area, I don't know, it may, I've received some messages before, I know people, I know there's people in Cali, so if you want to meet, that'd be cool, and for the $5 Amazon gift card giveaway, uh, do you guys get paranoid on acid, I want to hear your stories, uh, write that in the comments, and uh, like the video, subscribe, check out the links in the description, and we shall see you tomorrow, and this wasn't a short video, but whatever, fuck it. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, now if you liked what you saw, just check out the links in my description below, if you use the Amazon affiliate link, definitely send me a screenshot so I can thank you, and check out my other social media too, alright guys, see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.